<laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm sitting here, uh, happy Friday morning, by the way. Anyways, I'm sitting here with Quincy, um, my Rottweiler, and Levi, my deaf bulldog, um, getting ready to get our day started, and um, just had a couple of thoughts I wanted to share with you real quick. Um, routines, I have a concern with routines. Routines have their place. Um, my problem with routines is when they're broken. Um, and I'm talking about, hey Pat, routines with our animals, such as feeding every day at the same time, feeding the same thing at the same time every day. Um, different things like um, getting certain animals to play or do different things at the same time every day. Um, my concern with those are when those routines are broken, um, there can be a lot, there can, it can induce stress and anxiety. Now life is, does not happen on a routine. It doesn't happen on a routine with our animals as well. Every morning, certain things happen here. Uh, they need to happen on a schedule in order to remember to get things done. But what I do is try to take that schedule and I juggle it every day. For example, when we get up and unarm the place in the morning, it's not necessarily unarmed before we get out of bed. It's not unarmed necessarily after we get out of bed. Sometimes it's uh, unarmed before we go out to the center. We mix those times up. Let me give you an example. When we turn our alarm off or disarm certain areas of <laughs> the center, um, our keypad makes a certain noise. That is a sound or signal that tells the animals that can hear that keypad certain things are going to be able to ha certain things are getting ready to happen. For example, um, Quincy used to start whining when she heard the keypad if we did not come downstairs immediately because we came downstairs immediately all the time in the beginning. That was a routine that was creating a behavior issue. Um, the whining then turned to barking, then the barking turned to other behaviors. Um, the pig would start rooting and squealing extremely loud. If routines were broken, when the pig squeam, screams really loud, the Rottweiler howls really loud for a long time. So all these behaviors, can you come up here? All these behaviors were starting to develop. Uh, here's Quincy, the dog we're talking about right now. So predictability has its place. We also know that with predictability comes um, boredom. There's an article I wrote out there called Predictability Has Its Place. With routines, I will keep things as routine as possible with certain animals that have a history of high anxiety, stress. Um, I work with a lot of exotics and a lot of wild animals that are injured that can't be re-released. With those animals, yes, in the beginning, I will be very predictable. Um, and keep things on a routine as much as possible until they understand what I'm getting ready to do. Once they understand what I'm getting ready to do, I start taking those routines and I start changing them and mixing them up even in the slightest bit. <clears throat> Shaping change. I need my animals to accept change for their future and their welfare. Um, because things happen, life happens. Um, when I'm here on Sundays by myself, these animals are not getting fed any strict routine um, because sometimes they don't get fed until noon. Sometimes, I mean, there are always food in their dishes, but I, that's something really simple I can do to mix it up. Because like I was saying, life happens. Those routines are going to get broken. And when they get broken, if your animal is fixated on a routine, I guarantee you, you're gonna have stress, anxiety, and behavior issues. That's my tip for this awesome Friday morning, and I will see you guys soon. Right, Quincy? <laughs> see you guys, bye.